Apple is on uptrend. It, it has an event on October 13. So you could still expect it to move further up. Is it possible to reach 125? It was there in during the September. I think 125 is possible. However, it also depends on how investors react on the event. I would say as of now with 117, 125 or 127, you could keep as a sell order. And depending on how the reaction is on that particular day, if it doesn't reach that price, you could change your sell order limit. But to me, it looks 125 is possible. One of our friends said that the Apple is like kind of a reliance. Just bought it and forget about next five years. Even the RSI is giving it the support at, at, one, at 117. So 125 could be a very, very comfortable target. Yeah. So when it was at 127, it was at RSI was at similar price level. So I would say one, 125, 127 is possible for Apple. And if you are planning to hold for long term, then don't need to worry about it. What's your buy price though for this? 113. Yeah, for for short term, one, 125 or 127 would be good. And do you think it would be dropping off again, right? Yeah, after the event, it will come back. Yeah. People will, will realize the profit. If you are in profits uh, after the event date, mm. the next day after the event is launched, just sell it yeah. off. So that's mostly the that what the people will do and the price will go down. Yeah. Come to the left. No, still, you have to touch this candle top, red candle top. It has to be like the lower week of the lower candle and the higher uh, and the upper week of the upper candle. And then we have to change the settings. Okay, when I have a control, I will change it. So, okay, here. Currently, it is at hundred a uh, little above the support level 114. The next target is 120. 120 as per the save ratio. 120 can act as a resistance level. And like if you want to closely, like it is sort of like moving sideways for a couple of days. For last round, like few sessions, like seven, eight sessions, it is not moving much. It is just moving on the sideways direction. So still waiting for this to break this channel upward because of the upcoming likely event. And this, it will go beyond uh, the first the resistance that it's going to face will be 120 and then uh, the next target will be 126, 125, which we were just discussing about. So somewhere between, yeah, under, if it crosses 120, it will, it will reach 126. But if it doesn't cross 120, then it will fall back again to its level of 115, 116. So first will be 120, then next is 126. That's what my instinct is on this stock. Well, if you see RSI, RSI is like, we still, we have like good space in RSI. RSI has like, it is currently at 53. Still the stock has, you know, um, tendency to go up and the indicators are not overheated. We still have got some space and it will move uh, upward. And plus the stock is at, at, uh, at the support level near about support level and upcoming event is also there. So the gain you would see on this stock, if someone enters today, like at a price of 117, 117 to 120 first, that will be around 2% to 2.5% gain. And then the next target will be 125. If someone holds still till 125, then you will have like around 6% gain on that. Is that okay, Ankit? Yeah, that would be great info. Yeah. Thank you, Tahir. Shall we go to Tesla or VXers? <laughs> <laughs> we missed your comment. You know, you know, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself on, on Tesla account. Yeah? Okay. That's one script which Kamal and me always laugh on. It's a $400 penny Who's stock, right? Tesla? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, $400 penny. It's not a $400 penny, it's a $400 bubble. These days, I don't know what's going to happen. For It's not moving um, below this, this price. Like yeah. I was expecting it to go uh, fall below 400, but it's not falling down. Yeah, and it's just touching 450 and coming. 440s. Come on, you're you're, yeah. you're watching this talk with the green lens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe I'm expecting it to reach 500. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, come on! You should watch Cineplex with the same eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so 
yeah i'm going to buy cineplex for sure okay mm. yeah. let me share my view and then we would love to hear from you guys you uh, yeah. kamal and so 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 like uh, tahir 434 yeah, yeah what would be the entry point for the tesla i i keep in and out right with the profit so uh-huh. now i'm looking for the, because due to the q3 results so maybe planning to jump into that so what do you give your advice to enter into that and after the vivex so, uh, yeah. for me for me the entry point will be somewhere below 400 uh, okay one thing in mind if this stock starts moving in either direction it the range is the average true range for this stock is somewhere around 40 to 50 dollars come on can you put the atr uh, indicator trv discuss before indicators yeah. these days it's like 26 if you go back to the highest highest true range value yes 37 so now the average true range has fallen down I mean, the average true range what is the average true range the range is actually the difference between the highest point and the, the highest price and the lowest price of the stock on any particular day so here we are getting like 26 it means the stock moves e- in either direction upward by 26 price 26 dollars or downward by 26 dollars like if it opens at 400 it can go to 426 or it can go to 400 minus 26 which will be like 374 so that's what that range is and during these days the range has fallen down before it was like we can say more volatile and during like last few sessions it is less volatile it is like only moving by 26 dollars previously on an average it was on the last 14 day average by the way this is calculated as last 14 day average so uh, on the average it was moving like 37 38 so if it moves at any day it will either shoot up by 25 upward or go down by 25 downwards so that that's one thing you need to keep in mind so now uh, coming back to the entry levels so the entry level a good entry level will be any point bef- below below 400 or around 400 like if you see the support level at 415 and then the next if that support is broken the next one is 387 which i'm really looking for like somewhere below below 400 to be as a secure investment but if you are like very anxious and you just want to step in which actually we you shouldn't but if you still want to hold it at this price so my recommendation will be wait at least till it goes near 415 and it stays there around 415 and don't buy 415 like in full buy like your 30% of your budget at this price for example if you want to buy a tesla for like $2000 let's say only go for like 600 like two shares $800 so two shares here for roughly around $800 800 and the rest wait for it if it goes fall if it falls below this level of 415 then you can add on more so that can be a good tactic at this at this point because the stock is like in going in a range it's still in the range bound situation if you see from this red candle after two green candles the last seven sessions yeah from here to the left more one more yeah uh, above green the third one on 24 september yeah 28 september yes from 28 september onwards it's like almost in a channel and on just one day it showed up a little bit high of 445 yes and then it it wasn't able to break that because see the resistance level the resistance is 449 on the left come on the left to the fib ratio fib ratio is 449.18 yes. yeah and so this high, is the resistance high, high for that is 448 yeah exactly so it touched that resistance level but it wasn't able to break that so it is moving between 415 to 449 and that's what the range uh, the range atr is also telling us about the same levels around 27 26 previously 37 dollars range so that's it. that that is the range in this range it is trading so uh, for entry level it shall break 415 to go beyond 400 so someone would, like me would like to enter around like below 400 but still at 415 also you can like invest 20% or 30% here because there is a chance that 415 it doesn't break or it, it takes a support at 415 and then starts going up and you see if you see it starts going up just enter it like 30% of your target and then if it falls below 4 and 5 invest the remaining portion that you would like to so that can be a good trading strategy in tesla as per my opinion it okay. would be great suggestion and yeah and inputs tight here yeah. thank you uh, Vic, uh, anything you would like to add here we can come on no i think that you covered it in in absolute depth 
Yeah, clearly given the three three figures, I think that is most appropriate. Three eighty seven, three three sixty. But yes, four one five and three eighty seven are the good buying targets. Yeah, we were early uh, got the entry at four four twenty. Then I, uh, I I am just sharing my experience. Like and then solid at four four nine. We do have the Andy uh, uh, had the same thing. We we did it. So again, we are waiting for to. Get into the Tesla, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Four twenty two, and then selling off at around four fifties. Yeah, four forty nine. Yeah, in the twenty dollars, twenty five dollars game can be a good, but the tr- r- range is twenty seven. From four twenty two, it can go like minus twenty seven as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that that has to be taken care. And of when mind. when it would be the earning results? Yeah, expected yeah, earnings. Earnings are very uh, just close by. Earnings are close by. Just click on the E, no. Go back to the chart. October twenty first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ten days. Can you click on the e, the letter E? Here, yes. Click on it. So point five five. And what was the previous one? Point <laughs> one. So expected is like more. They they do have the promising delivery. Recently. Yeah. Let's yeah. see. Like in twenty first of October, within the same month, you will find it after like two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So if two weeks earnings earnings are positive. And the stock is here at this level four and five. So somewhere around four and five. Yeah. Yes. You you can try entering it. At least a certain portion of your your budget. Yeah. Try to get try to get that. But don't like do hundred percent of your budget. Yeah, I would also say the same thing. Getting under four hundred is better. Uh, if you are trying to buy early, buy some around four fifteen and keep your funds for. Buying more under four hundred. So. Yeah, but and the positive news is like the earnings are coming nearby and they are expected to be positive. So like two three days before the earning date, just be very vigilant and watchful. So can we move on the next talk or someone has to ask something or share something on there? Shall we go to next? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So next is MFI, right? Yes. Twenty five oh. ten. 25 nine, 25 10 is my bank branch. You are already in, into it. I was not completely yet into it, but I'm system order is still there. 25 10 my system is there. I had missed it in the last two two trading sessions. Yeah, the last trading day low was 25 10. Yes, I'm telling you now I missed it. Greed made me miss it in the last two trading sessions. 25 zero three first, 25 zero ten, and it never touched the figure. Touched it and I put I put the order. Your price level is correct. Price level will be negative. Yeah. Yeah, so, right. so it's still a good so vibe. much room in here. But look at the volumes. The volumes have come back to its original. There was a spike when it was like going down. The volumes were like traded well, and now it's fallen back again. What is the support level here? So the previous support around twenty five. Around its support level, right? Yeah, now. yeah. So it's at a good buy price. Yeah, because RSI is like giving a buying indication and support level is also there. Can you put Fib ratio and see what the support as per Fib is? Yeah, any lower candle on your screen. Lower wick to the upper wick on the right. This one, yeah, this is also the same. Yeah. Now move to the right. Yeah, the I'll just one. not this one. Left. This end, one. Left this one. September. Yeah, this one. Yes. Twenty-four hours. Yeah. Slightly higher up. Yeah, That's I was it. thinking. I was thinking this one. That's the same thing. Which, Almost the same. They both yeah. are the same. It's the same thing. Same height. Just extend it to the no, right. No, no, we can't extend it there. No? Don't extend it. Don't extend it further. Either you, stop it here or stop it there. Here, the support level is four point twenty four point seven seven, which is the next support, and the resistance will be twenty six point one eight. So twenty four point seven seven and twenty five point one seven is almost at the same level at at the support channel. The next will be twenty four point seven and the fifty one percent. Uh, 26.18. So 26.18 can be the next immediate target, and then the 28 levels. So uh, it still has got some space because of this other because of the other indicators which are like cool down. So 28.2 can be the ultimate target for this. I mean, I mean after the first uh, R1, this can be the R2 resistance show 28.2. And how strong this 24.7 is? You can see that it has touched like many. Many many times, twenty four point seven. Uh, this level, twenty four point seven, hasn't been broken for a very large number of times. So it can it can act as a a good support point for this stock, twenty four point seven, and then 
26.18. It can be traded between these two, but still 24 to 26, it's like just a $2 gain, not a, a big one. What do you say, Vivek, on this? Because resistances are like very, very close. 23, then 24, then 26 and 28. Risk to I'm thinking of from the risk to reward ratio point of view, like from 24 to 26, a two dollar gain, two dollar gain, and then the lower side at this point of time is like just half dollar, fifty cents, and upper side dollar. is one point five. Yeah, it it has to be very careful if someone wants to invest in it because it has got multiple supports and resistances which are very close to each other. Very true. But what is most uh, disturbing to me is the last four candle volume candles. Yeah. Red the and they're pretty big volume candles. Yeah, because of price was falling down in the last three sessions consecutively. And yes. then in the last trading session, it has like became almost the same level. What is the candle shape? Can you increase the form? Or can you increase the chart? So you just zoom in to the can shape of the candle. If anyone remembers that from the participants, this candle... It's a weak candle. I said participants, not the host. Sorry. Sorry. I said, I said from the participants. Sorry. 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 Okay, guys, this is... Yeah, that's a weak candle. This is a gravestone dodgy. And a gravestone dodgy is like indecisive candle. Although there is an upside price rejection here. And this gravestone dodgy candle is like... Seems to be an indecisiveness in the market. And you have to wait for the next... Uh, next day confirmation yeah yeah it's weak as you said so for me like i wouldn't say to enter in the stock uh, at this point unless the on the next session it there is a, a, some change in here and if you are an expert yes you can but for the beginners i would say no because you have to be very careful about the upcoming supports and the, and the resistances which are like very close to each other for someone like who is like expert and who is like who has some good technical knowledge can trade in this stock but at 2477 would be a good support price. Yes. Or you would like to because, wait for it to 23. Uh, it has like multiple resistances yes. at this 24. And at 23, 23 is not strong. If 23 see, is not 20, strong at all. Yeah, 23 is not strong. 21 is not Either as 21. strong at 24. Yeah, then 21 can be a point. If Even it, 21 would not be very strong. Ever. Yeah, as 24. Yeah, 24 is the strongest one. If 24 is broken down, then 23 will no longer hold. 23 yes. will be absolutely broken down. 21 will be, yes, 21, because since it would have fallen drastically and RSI and other indicators will be very cooled off, that point can be, you know, taken at a support level. But for the time being, 24 seems to be a strong one. If it breaks 24, then 21 is very near. Yeah, true. Okay. I also stay out. So, shall we go to next? Yeah. Sure, sure communication. So, William, sir, is... Oversold, but it's still downward. Same is mm. RSI. So it would be better to wait for some more time. In a screener, what criteria we have used in the screeners from where we have identified these couple of stocks, what mm -hmm. criteria we are putting in there? It has gone below its resistance of 23.8, below the support yeah, it of has 20, gone down. It has gone down. 23.8 is broken, 23.57. So it has broken its support. The next support is 22.5. I would say there's... there's it, has to, it has to fill in a gap. Yeah, it has to gap. fill in a gap between 20 to 15 and 2023. 20 I would say there is a support here as well. 23.27 or 25. But there's a gap as well. Gap will, I think... There's a gap which has to fill in at 20 to 50. Yeah, 22.55. Till 22.5. That gap has to be filled in. Yeah, most likely it will drop till here. So the support will be at 21.65. The support of 22.55 seems stronger support, no? But, but Kamal, if this gap gets has to be filled in, the support is 2165. Okay, can we do one more thing? 22, yeah, your gap fills in, it's like 22, one thing. Uh, can, I, can I have uh, access? Can I have a control? I just want to draw a few lines. Can I remove this for in Yeah, go ahead. Okay, this seems to be moving in this trend, in this pattern. If we extend this, it's going downwards. Uh, I will just extend this line here and extend this as well so in the coming days it's like the trend is downward it will gonna move down and as we discuss that there's a gap here so it is likely to be coming at this level of 22.5 and this will be more likely as per this trend somewhere like at the end of october by the end of october it will be flowing in, the, in this channel and you will see this point this coming 
uh, not exactly the end by a third or fourth week because if you see this it's stretching here at this level falling back then again the same level it, it is not able to cross these this pattern and then again although this is a lower level than before and then guys you can see my screen right yeah yeah okay my cursor as well so this is moving in this channel which is a downward channel so this downward channel till here and then from here it can move a little bit higher and again at this level 24 and this it will form this channel and if it breaks this one 23.57 which is currently it is at then it will enter into us into a new channel the new channel will be most likely filling in the gap very quickly so if it goes up on the next day so it can move like only till 24.32 in like a couple of sessions. But ultimately this stock, uh, I would say on, on an overall basis, this is in a downtrend. So you have to be vigilant of this down, downtrend and the target for this stock is like somewhere around 22, as, as we were discussing earlier. But if it goes like a little bit higher, but it doesn't mean that strong stock has changed, changed its overall trend. The overall trend remains the same as we are discussing it right now. It's in the downward trend. Target is like 22.2, which where it will be filling the gap and take the support. But during that movement, it can move a little bit higher to uh, to be within this within the same channel, and then ultimately it will fall down. So that's what my view is on the stock. Sorry, yes. where is the next earning expected? What next date is earning that? is point on 30th October. By the end of October. this. Point, point three, three positive. Point three positive, and the previous one and was. And after every earning, every earning it, it it normally shoots up. Yes, if you see here, yep. So it is going up after the earnings. So here also because by that time it would have like almost taken support 22. from this 5. level. Yes, yeah, and from there it is highly likely that it it can it can go up. Because indicators would have like cooled down by that time. Yes. So that's how this stock can move going forward. Okay, can we move on to the next one? If no one has, shall we take UNS? Okay, can we also uh, view Goku? Yes, sir. let's take Goku first. GOCO. This one? Oh, Goku. Yes. Next. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the first one, uh, the yeah, Nasdaq one. Nasdaq one. Well, it's a recent uh, listing. Yeah, yeah they did. And yeah. earnings? 0 0.006. 0 0.01. Uh, okay. This is in a parallel channel right now. This is a channel here. I have an average price of 40, 20, 1420. Okay. So this is a channel in which this stock is currently trading. I will increase the size here. 1420. If you are at 1420 and like you're a little bit higher than that. So it lastly, last time when trading in this pattern, it went till 12.19 and currently is 13.34. And it is showing a little bit downward side. And if you see the volumes, volumes are consistent over the period of time. So it can go below till 12. If it goes till 12, just don't be afraid of that because it will take a support and get back. But if it breaks this level of 12, then you, sh I think you should consider selling your securities at that point. Till it is within this range, it can give you a breakout in either direction. It can take a support at this level of 12 and then rebound back to a level of 15. So that's how the stock is moving between 12 and 15 within this within this channel. So your price is within that. So it can go till 15, but currently it is in a downward trend and it can show you a price of 12. So after 12, it is likely to be rebounded. But if it breaks this level of 12, then you have to consider selling your securities because the stock is not very old. We don't have historic prices. We don't have much data on that to analyze, but Given the current market, it is like in a parallel channel uh, for the last couple of days. But on the overall basis, there is another trend I would like to show you. And this is most likely the case for all the new IPOs. So the first day, it's a very high price. 
second day it starts going down and there are like few spikes and then eventually it falls down like few ipos they make their way upward but most of the time they are going down as well so you have to care be careful okay see if you see the overall picture overall the stock is going down 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 and then here it changes its direction to sideways from the sideways another thing another way to analyze this is i'll show you here so if it gives you an upward breakout it can move out to this level we were discussing this one point here of the trading channel so this one is if it gives a breakout it will be somewhere here on the up, upper side so and the level will be this one 19.05 it gives an upward breakout somewhere around 19 but if it gives you a breakout on the lower side then the, there will be a different level this level can be this one so tahir as in us like their enrollment mm -hmm. season is coming in november so what mm -hmm. i am expecting is expecting like maybe the stock will go up like in november uh, i don't know in November, it will depend how it it behaves after this mm -hmm. uh, move, after moving out of this channel. Mm -hmm. So this channel that we have drawn here, so there will be two possibilities: either it breaks upward. If it breaks upward, the next level will be around eighteen point seven, or if it goes down, it can move further down till nine. So you are like in the middle. So till it is within the same range, you are safe. So if it mm -hmm. crosses this le level of twelve then you will be like considering this stock either selling it off or selling it off partially and if it goes up then you will be lucky to have like good profits like if there is some positive news in the in the market that you are expecting to better to hold and then that news will be in cash after it breaks this channel and moves beyond the level of 15 so you have to if it is within like range of 12 no need to worry about that and you can still hold it Okay. But always see the overall trend of all the IPOs which we have drawn through this uh, this uh, parallel channel, this trading channel. Mm -hmm. I think that can be helpful in in the coming days as well. And look at the volumes, very high volume on the first day, and then went down, went down, and then they are constant, and the price is constant as well almost. That's important to note here. Okay, I hope that gives a reasonable insight of this talk. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome. Yeah, can we move on to next? SU. SU. Yes, yes, yes. Suncor Energy. That's right. Okay, Suncor Energy. Here we go. After that, we can take Shopify. Yes. Okay. We can't miss Shopify. Okay, Suncor and Energy is in an overall downward trend. What are the crude oil prices these days? Have we checked that? Saudi has said they will maintain the crude oil at 50 for the next three years. 50 for next three years. Wow. Okay. Clone. So overall, it is like within in this trading pattern. It's going up, down, up, down, but still within. So if it if it gives a breakout of this 17, then it will go up. Otherwise, still it is like uh, if it, trading within the same channel and most likely in in a downward trend. This is one thing to analyze. And then the support level here is like 14.98. So this is the support. This is the support and the resistance is 17.67, the immediate one, the immediate resistance. So this is a port and resistance. Resistance is nearby. So if we talk about the risk to reward ratio, the risk to reward ratio is not favorable because the upside is like only limited to few cents, like 60, 65 cents. And the downside is like a little bit higher, like around $2. So at this point, better to wait, not to enter here. You can enter around 14.90 if, if it obeys or if it takes the support and starts going up. So this can 14.90 can be the entry point at this for a short term, not for a long term. And for the overall long term basis, it's in, in the down, downward direction. So this is not a stock that you're going to hold it at this point of time because an overall basis it is continuing its downward journey and let's see how it behaved like previously we do some back testing so in the back testing here or 
see it's it's more visible like it is in in the downward trend so where it gonna stop we don't know right now unless there is a huge news in the market which can drive its stock and change its trend so right now a short term play can be done here not not recommended for long term at this point of time and unless it has changed its direction and it has started going moving up so there is another way of analyzing although we have not yet studied that that's called uh, elliot wave pattern if i talk about that pattern to me i will just be very quick on that it is wave one from here so this is wave one and this is wave two and the wave two has a support here so if it goes upward from this level from this point this we can say this is a wave three and wave three wave three can start from here it normally will break wave two it's just a prediction if it breaks this level if it go if it moves positive from here wave one wave two wave three but how long it's going to take it depends there is no clear cut answer on that how long it will take but an overall basis yes it can it can move from uh, this point of from this point to above but in order to form this pattern the stock shall not move go beyond this level of wave one which was like 14 yeah if it breaks this level this support level of 14.90 then there will be no wave pattern at all because there is some, there are some conditions we were study this elliot wave pattern in some 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 other class so wave pattern here it may be formed if it doesn't break 14.9 and stays above that and starts going up and if it breaks this level of 28.9 then it will fill this gap and move up towards like 33 so if i draw the fib ratio as well here so it will be like more clear so as for the fib ratio yes 30.18 it breaks this 30.18 and the next level will be 33 so yeah exactly that's what we are talking about from the fib ratio so for the currently you can't enter in this stock because the risk to reward ratios are like unfavorable wait for this stock to fall below till its support level and starts moving up that can be a good entry point and then again it will face a resistance at 18 so somewhere between 15 to 18 three dollar can be a good gain at this price range for suncor over few trading sessions how many trading sessions you can see from here to here it takes like week and a half or something like that so that can be a good point is there anything you want to add here no i think you covered every aspect of it yeah sure thank you and the earnings are nearby earnings are like negative so yeah support is coming by 14.9 can be a support level because the earnings are also negative volumes are consistent so if someone want to enter 14.90 and that is like one of the lowest point for the year i, I guess if we do the back testing no it is it is for quite some time yeah so it hasn't touched this level i can't see the dates here yeah 2014 15 for even many, many, is not many there. years yes not even 12 not even 12 yeah you're right so this is like currently at it's very very cheap and reduced prices the so 14.90 and then it can start moving up till if it it goes beyond for okay if it takes support from 14.9 and then crosses its resistance of 18.05 then as per the fib ratio and elliot wave pattern 32 will be the target for this in the upcoming upcoming months not not days or weeks in the upcoming one 32 will be the target although there will be swing up and down like here in this wave two there are swings up down up down but ultimately this will be the this will be the point for sun core energy unless there is something fundamentally bad on this stock Okay, yes, guys. Um, and, and next talk, shall we move on? But can we look at BRN if anyone doesn't have anything? TRN? No, BRN. B as in Bravo. It's okay, a NASDAQ B one. R N NASDAQ. Oh. Yeah, okay. Barnwell. The fourth, the third one, Barnwell. One, two, three, four. This no, one. third one, third one. Barnwell. Yeah, that's. Okay, let's stop. Okay. Spikes falling down, spikes falling down. Here the huge rise and then open lower. See the pattern. Huge closing price. And the next day the close see the closing price. Opening price, I mean. 
it closed it here two, and then next day open at one point three. Huge selling effect. And then here close open below. Here okay, it closed here. Okay, gap open with gap. Reached it two point two, but didn't sustain that two point two. And then next day opening is like well below one point three. One one point three, one point one, and here as well, opened. Uh, okay, it reached till to one point six, close at point nine, and then opened with a gap, and then started moving up. See this pattern. And whenever it happens, it it goes till a few days till this level, and then suddenly someday there is always a spike in this Barnwell Industries. Are they playing with the tweets or some news? Are you following some news on this stock? Oh, not yet. I've just recently looked at it, wherein it it was spiking a bit. So I bought a few at one point one. One point one. If you yeah. bought it, you should hold this stock. Hold okay. this until it falls below point five six. If you are, if or like this will be the first one point six. If it goes beyond point six, the next will be point five, and then point three. These are the three levels here. Unless you are lucky to get that spike. Okay, this is the first level. Then this is the second level, S two, and then this is S three. So these are the three support levels, and the resistance level is this is the resistance level for this stock. A little bit lower actually, point two more lower. Yeah, one point zero two. This is actually is resistance level. So it will move beyond, uh, within this channel of one point zero two and zero point seven, unless you get a spike it here. So if you get a spike, go for that and sell it on the same day when there is a spike. Don't wait for the next day even, because the next day it will be opening with gap, a below gap, so that you're gonna end up in losses. So the day it uh, takes a spike, sell it during that day, and then book your profit. Otherwise, like if it starts going down, point seven, point five, and point three are the targets for this stock. Yeah, I put a take profit as I don't think one point four or something, just in case. One point four, okay. Uh, okay, let's see that. Okay, the next one will be somewhere here. One point. This was one point six seven. Okay, the next one can be one point five to one. Yeah, one point five can be a reasonable as well. So last one, if you see the trend, it's falling trend. This one, this one, this one, and then if it goes till here, one point four will be around the days of first week of November. So follow this trend line. So you can like have one point four to five. One point four will be like very very easy one. So one point four five or one point five between between this by the end of this month. And if you go in November. Then, uh, as per the trend line, then it will be one point four. Thanks, Tahir. I put it as one point four just in case if it hits. That yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Well, yeah, that can be a good thing to just to book whatever you have and don't be greedy. Whatever you have got in your pocket, just book it. So that can be good tactics. Yes, guys. Uh, can you move on to the next one? Uh, one more stock. Okay, a maximum of two. Okay, we'll take two and then we we close, close this close session. session unless, unless you want, you want us to us want to want the other one. Then only then we will do so. Otherwise, like we will be closing up in two. Okay, so okay, can we see one more stock, CYDK? CYDK. Yes. Gap up and a gap down. What happened here? There was a news. Seventeen. Twenty-seven to seventeen. Horrible. Two point five six. What is the news? Can I get? In one week, you have an upper circuit and a lower circuit. Yeah. Failure drug. Yeah. Heart whenever the, these things, the drugs. Successful or drug is just went into testing upward, and when the results come down, downwards. October eight, the update the price moving in the first paragraphs. It's worth reading it, guys. Drug help reduce the need for hospitalization and urgent treatments for the heart failure patient with reduced ejection. The drug did not appear to decrease the number of deaths from cardiovascular disease. The company said the plan to present additional data from the clinical trial during a virtual presentation at the American Heart Association and results. Session 2022 on November 13. November 13 can be a day where you you want to look at this stock again. So if you are holding this, then hold till November 13. Or here, 
So ten dollar. Are you holding the stock? Yes, my uh, average price is fifteen fifty. Fifteen fifty, man. You should have sold it. Yeah, no, it was no, no I think he it. bought. He, he bought, bought it on the dip. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. You bought it here when it was went down. Out. Then I bought. Yeah. It must have bought it. Yes, okay. yes. Yesterday is only have bought it. Yeah. Last okay. Okay. Day for yeah. The price is good. Yeah. So let's see if what's the buy price. So even I can consider to enter. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm coming to that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> for you, for you, the buying price is eight point six. <laughs> okay. <wait. laughs> uh, because I know this guy. He will wait till eight point six, and he will not enter even at this level of thirteen. Or like, you can enter like twenty percent here, thirteen point six. Okay. So guys. Yeah, jokes apart, just eight point six. This level eight point six. You, you will see this. Okay, this is five point nine eight in the past. So eight point six can be possible for a very short time, but right now, like you should target for thirteen point six nine, thirteen point seven. Was well, this is like only just two days for for the after the fall. So two days price is falling down. RSI can go further down, yes, and the volumes are still like high. Still, there are like few people who are selling it. Many people sold it here and bought it as well. And here, the volumes uh, are still higher than normal. And the day you see the volumes become consistent, volume are like at three point five eight million, the price will will be stagnant. So price will come in a parallel channel. Right now, I would say the price will go further down because the last session. The volumes were still high, means still the people are holding it. Still, there is attraction from both the sides. From the seller sides, they are they are still on a on a selling side. On the day one, few people sold it. Day two, few more people sold it. Day three, also there is a selling pressure. Few more people can sell and attraction as well, so people can buy in. So what I'm trying to say, the volumes are still higher as compared to the normal. And the day you see whether on the next session on Tuesday, this is like uh, yeah, Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, the vol if the volumes becomes comes back to the normal, the price will be stagnant, and the most likely it will be at thirteen point six nine, where most of people are waiting. People like Kamal, they are they are waiting for the stock to fall further down so that they can enter. So thirteen point six nine, I'm predicting, I'm expecting that the volumes will get normal. Price will be at support level, and it will start trading in a horizontal channel for quite some time. And from there, the same, the same thing that we have always been discussing that whenever it is in a, a trading in a parallel channel, wait for the stock to give a breakout either upward or downward. And then it's if it's downward, then eight point six nine. And then if it's upward, then you can see like in the next target will be nineteen point three nine. So th that's how we can we can we. Can trade in the stock. So for timing, just wait for a few more sessions. So when, once it's the key point here is volumes become normal and start moving in a channel uh, on the, in the sideways, you can enter like thirty percent of your budgeted price, budgeted volume. That could be an interesting one to see. Because uh, and one more thing you can do, just go and check the other. There are so many other stocks which uh, pre, which went into trial. And then there were bad news. That they failed. The prices fell down. And after falling down, how they behaved, how they moved. So that can be uh, one of the good thing to look at. As for my understanding, they moved in the same way as we are discussing it right now. Fall down for two three days, and then went to the parallel channel before they gave breakout in either direction. Yeah, you are That's right. You I, can, yeah, you can check blue B L U. Yes, there were few. We were. Uh, okay, if you have time, we can check it right now. Nasdaq. Yeah, Even see TSX, yeah. Wow. See, see this one fall down day one, and the next day. Uh, okay, we can ignore this one one day spike. The, that was called it like a dead dead cat bounce. Yeah. So one day here, then fall down 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 till three four days, and look at the volumes. Volumes went down down down, and here on this day the volume become. Constant. Look at the previous volumes. Previous volumes like even lower than that though. But here the volumes became constant. The volume becoming constant, close enough to the previous volumes before this spike, and 
whenever now see these volumes are the same as the volumes before almost the same level so volumes getting closer to the same level as before the stock is in the parallel channel so it, it remained in the parallel channel parallel channel from like july till october and if we do the back testing what was is original worth original worth was like almost the same this was the worth the stock worth like 0.94 not the same little bit higher than the previous worth so that's how the uh, stocks move on on the news and most importantly these trial news so i'm expecting this to move in the same what was that what is the name sorry c y uh, t t k yeah c y t k okay. okay yeah okay. let's get back here so c y t k is expected to follow the blue trend so and the support line is here 13.5 so it will move around somewhere here and that your uh, for you the next thing is like expected date of earnings 29th october which is negative but in the news they said something they are going to announce on 13th of november so if, if the stock is in a parallel direction it's not moving anywhere wait till 13th november to see if it gives some a good breakthrough because okay, you are in rabu say you should wait unless it it give it unless it falls below this is first support level it it falls below first support level you should consider like getting it off and then you can you can rebuy at the lower levels or at least 50% get rid of 50% and then you can rebuy again from the lower levels but still it gonna be same like blue it will be in a parallel channel for a long time i don't know how long but still it will be if you do the back testing what is the worth of this stock the worth of this stock is 8.6 which is our support level so you should really really consider that if it breaks the first level and this i would say like get rid of this if you have loss but less loss is better than a big one i'm not saying that it gonna be a loss but what i'm looking at some other stocks and the trends of other stocks which uh, the tendency how they behave after the failure in the trial prediction and that and you know most of the people do the same they see this thing this gap thing and they sell it off see the volume that's what the most people have done here that's why it's a huge volume because it has failed and people know when it fails what happens to the stock so the people get out here and some people get out here so that's what i would like to say yes we wait anything you want to say here or come on no just that sell on news the yes, news confirmation came and you just sell on news exactly so that that's why there is a huge volume here because most Absolutely. people did so so yep and for kamal yeah kamal wait for 8 dollars <laughs> yes <laughs> thanks for yeah guys, right, this will be right, yeah right. this will be in kamal's video guys buy near the support sell near the resistance okay yes this is one of them to add okay yeah, yeah okay can we move on to the next i think we have like 7 minutes left we can take one more shop i shopify kamal okay, shop shop now i am also into shop after yes. after that barrack barrack will be gold Shopify is disappointing me for last four or five days, fourteen thirties, forties, and like the stock because it has its resistance level here at fifteen hundred, and fifteen hundred was like only one time when it touched like fifteen hundred, fourteen ninety four. Okay, then the target, the target I'm looking for this stock is fourteen ninety four, and I'm also holding this Shopify, and the below is twelve sixty nine. where we have been discussing in the past like guys you can buy below 1300 so 1300 or between 13 to 1350 was still a good buying price for those who were not able to buy below 1300 so so this one was a good buying area here although it reached like 1120 1125 these were the days when we were having like all red days so that was the point when most of the people entered so here also it was a good entry point now the uh, the selling point is 494 so as soon as it reaches 494 and you have to be very careful of that if you have like having for example like two stocks sell one one here at 494 and you you see if your stock breaks this level this resistance level and starts moving upward then you can wait for the next level next level could be but 1500 is, seems to be a little strong because there is no history of reaching the stock at 1500 last time it's reached 1500 and this time in order to break this there's no strong history of a stock breaking this 
when the resistance is broken whenever like you see the stock touch like multiple times that level and three four times or even more then if it is coming again back to that level there is a there is a chance that stock can break this level but here this is only just one time the stock reached the 1494 or approximately 1500 so the chance for the stock to break 1500 is a little less but still it is in an upward direction and it can if you see this here from here it is currently in up, upward direction so the every day the next price is higher than than the previous high which is form which is it is forming the the higher higher lows so we call it higher lows so if we if whenever the stock is forming higher lows you need to keep it so it is moving upward to 1494 so my idea for this stock is somewhere around 1490 i will sell this and then rebuy again at like somewhere around 1300 1270 or 1300 can also be a good level for this for this stock volumes are like consistent earning is coming earning is positive 0.629 october so by 29 october 1500 can be can be a target that's how i see this as we wait and think guys i agree yeah and just one more thing here we haven't uh, analyzed using this parabolic sar the parabolic sar if you see the dot the dot of parabolic sar and the distance between the candle is still like wide so this in order to for the stock to change its trend from upward to upward trend to the downward trend the distance between the candle and the dot that uh, dot shrink is you see it here there was a gap 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 and see the last one the last one and the gap a dot and the candle the distance has gone down and from that point the dot formed is uh, started forming from upside and the stock went in downward direction there was a shift in the trend here you see the trend up 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 and still here there is a huge gap so there are still there is a space here there is a resistance level is like around 50 dollars ahead and space is also there between the candle and the gap so the, it is very likely that it will touch 1490s and from there support is there and you will see this for a uh, uh, dot forming on the upper side and the stock will start going down because this is uh uh this parabolic sar is a leading indicator so that we got a huge weightage for the leading indicators one of them is parabolic sar so if you haven't entered this stock yet so you and if you really want to you at this point of time you can set your limits around, around 420s somewhere around 420s because previously it has been going down but that shouldn't be like more than one share the 420 is on the safe side you can earn like 40 60 or like $70 dollars in short time but don't huge uh, invest huge because the 1400 is not a recommended buying price okay guys yep so we can we have it's one minute left i'm sorry barrick abx yep abx abx currently 35 at a support it took a support at 35 it's a good entry point here and then the next target here for the abx is somewhere around 40.26 40.26 is the target and currently it is at like 30 37 so it has already taken its support 35 if someone and has given a confirmation as well and there's a downside price rejection if you see the candle candle is good with a downside price rejection and it has start, it is going moving up so if someone want to enter this is a good entry point and resistance a short resistance will be at 37 but the ultimate goal will be this one of 40 as per the support and resistance levels and i can tell you more in more detail on the group we have just less than a minute left and i would say like thank you to everyone who joined us and if we have like few uh, things left we can cover in the uh, in the group apart, uh, including the abx but for the a- abx it is a good point to enter right now at 36 was a uh, support level which was honored by the stock and it has taken a support from here and after taking a support the good thing is there is another green candle already formed which is a confirmation candle showing that yes the stock has taken its support from that point and the if we analyze the candle as, as i was saying there is a downside price rejection which is not, not a huge rejection though but still stock was able to to close at its highest point of the day 36.84 
the next support and level a uh, next resistance level is somewhere within the channel of 37.4 to 38 and if that's broken so the next level is 39.7 or around 40 so we can hold this stock from 36 to 36 to 40 so this can this is a good stock at this point of time to enter and uh, this parabolic parabolic sar parabolic sar is like here is confusing because uh, it has there has to be a trend you can't follow parabolic sar here because for parabolic sar the condition here is there has to be some trend upward trend or a downward trend so here it's like as exact there is no huge strength so it will give you a f false allowance for the parabolic sar so we will not be following parabolic sar indication here but we will follow the support and resistance and the candle shape and the earnings as well which is positive which will drive and this is on the fifth number and these things coupled together will drive the stock in an upward direction and the volumes are like pretty much consistent yeah consistent volumes a any other insight that we that you have on, on in this stock no i was just confirming my own readings on it which is which are almost similar yes because uh, the positive more positive thing is like the support level which is already taken absolutely so yes. i already put my system sale at 40.25 and 40.75 40.25 okay 40.75 75 here for this candle 40.75 okay. 40.25 is my first sale okay and 40.75 40 expecting a spike in gold and because it reverses at, at mm. 41.12 but if if it, but if it breaks its support at 40.25 only then it the will reach to 40.75. So what I'm saying that if it has already broken this, then it may go further up. Then why 40.75? Basically because it has reversed from 41.12. So I just want to liquidate this and one. then re-enter later on. Okay, yeah. There's one still one candle here. After yeah. that it reversed. Yeah, I think that can be that will be a good strategy. 40 somewhere around 40.25. So this channel from here 40 uh, 40 to forty point two five and then few few of the stock at forty point seven five will be a good good combination. And then again buy it back on dip because by that time I will know what the price of gold would be. Yeah, exactly. You're you're right. So that can that can be done. If someone wants to enter, uh, I think uh, Kamal, we can add this in your screeners or whatever we share with our colleagues on the group. This stock can be added. Yes, because it is it this point of time it is safe. Point. Yeah, this is the entry point because yes. most of the stuff we it's discuss, we are saying that risk and reward ratio is not favorable at this point, or you have to wait for a few more days and something like that. Mm. And for this talk, this can be traded in the next session on Tuesday. Absolutely, sure. Yeah. Okay, uh, do, uh, do we want to discuss a few more, or we call it a day? No, I'm fine. Okay then. Okay then. If someone else has some questions, we can discuss it over over our group. And whatever we have discussed, I hope uh, that was helpful for uh, the participants and they will make the best of it. And the next session, uh, I would try to see if I can add some more from the educational points, maybe like Elliott Wave Pattern. I will touch something on that. That can be a little high level. Let's see if we talk about that or something else, which will be uh, most probably for the, for the big news. So we'll see what we can add. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Okay, guys. Good, yes. Yeah, sure. Right, okay, guys. Thank, thank, you, thank you very much. Thank you for joining. Thank, thank you, Kamal. Thank, thank you, Tahir. Thank you, Tahir. Thank you, Vixas. Bye-bye. Thanks, Hardik. Bye. -bye. Bye.